Hello my loves! Welcome back to my channel and here if you are new viewer on my channel, hello girl! And welcome to my channel. I hope that you will enjoy watching this video and you will find this video helpful and then you will decide to click that subscribe button down there for you to become a part of my beloved family. So for today guys, I am back with another product review for you guys and today we are going to review this baby over here. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation but this one will not be a first impression review on this product because I've been trying this product out for quite some time already, siguro mga isang buwan na para mabigyan ko kayo ng in-depth review about this product. So if you wanted to know my thoughts about this product, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let us start with kung saan ninyo makukuha or mabibili yung foundation na to. This one is available here in the Philippines sa inyong local Maybelline counter. And this product cost 499 pesos. But this product comes in 5 shades dito sa Philippines but I'm not really sure kung sa ibang bansa kung ilang shades sila meron. And yung shade selection nila for me, it's more on the color side kasi medyo meron silang pink undertone. So, make sure that when you are purchasing this foundation, mag-swatch muna kayo talaga ng bongga-bongga kasi kung hindi, you will risk of um, getting a wrong shade. Kung dito lang kayo sa packaging niya, magre-refer. Kasi as you guys can see, this foundation looks lighter on my skin. Pero dito, sa packaging niya, ito dapat yung kulay niya. But I got the shade 60 Sandy Beige. Meron siyang yellow undertone, which is good for Filipinas. But it's still super duper light on me. And yung darkest shade na meron sila, nung sinwatch ko, sobrang mapink. So I hope that they will add more shades on their collection. When it comes to the packaging, it is contained in a plastic tube container, which is actually very good because it is very travel friendly and it's hygienic. When it comes to the consistency, this foundation has a creamy and moussey consistency. It's very smooth and um, lightweight. And the alam yun, medyo slippery siya, so I think na yung base niya is silicone. Okay, so since nag-set na yung primer na nilagay ko on the side, I am going to apply now yung foundation. Yung gagawin ko is on this side, I will use my finger and then on the side, I will be using a flat top synthetic brush. And then sa noo ko, I will just use a sponge which is the real techniques na Miracle Complexion sponge para makita natin how it applies using different tools. So, kahit gamitin ko yung fingers ko, I can see na blendable naman itong foundation na to. And, it feels slippery talaga. Right in a bath, as you guys can see, na-even out nyo naman yung skin tone ko. And from afar, parang okay naman siya yung finish niya. And mabilis din siyang mag-set. So, i-burn down ko lang siya ito ko ba? Kasi medyo maputi pa din tong ano na to, uh, shade na to sa akin. Yeah. Using my fingers, hindi naman ako nahihirapang i-apply yung foundation. Pero hindi niya natakpan yung aking mga blemishes dito. And yung mga pores ko, here, I do have a very large pores here and then dito din. So, hindi niya talaga natakpan yung mga sunspots ko dito and all. So, I think na using your fingers, it will give you a 
light coverage. So let's try it naman with the use of the brush. Yung application with the brush, mabilis lang din siya. Hindi siya mahirap i-blend. Ganun pa din. Pareho lang din yung ginamit ko yung fingers ko. Kaso parang mas may coverage yung ginamit ko tong brush compared to sa kabila kasi guys can see. Mas maganda yung coverage niya with a brush. Over here, I do not know if you will be able to see it pero medyo maliliit yung pores nito. But mind you guys, na-design pala has a primer and ito yung fingers lang and uh, walang primer na side. So as you guys can see yung coverage dito sa kabila using a brush with a primer siya medyo okay yung coverage niya medyo natakpan niya naman yung aking mga uh, blemishes dito sa area na to pero very light to medium lang talaga yung coverage nito definitely hindi siya magiging full coverage pero sa malayo parang okay naman na siya diba Pag lumapit ka lang talaga, makikita mo yung uh, imperfections. So, sa noon naman, I will be using a sponge para makita din natin. Wow, this is light. Super duper light sa akin guys. No shade na to. Pero yung darkest shade kasi nila, pink yung undertone. So, Sabi ko, okay na to. Gagawa na lang natin ang paraan niya. Diba? So, using a sponge, okay siya. Mas mabilis yung pag-apply. And very smooth din yung finish niya. Mas magandang coverage kapag brush. Pero mas smooth naman kung gagamit kayo ng sponge. So, kung fingers, as you guys can see, parang super duper light and sheer lang na coverage. So, I will try to um, build this one up. Pero, gagamitin ko na lang yung brush kasi mas gusto ko yung coverage. Yung matatakpan yung mga blemishes ko. Sure niya. After applying it all over my face. very medium coverage lang. Medyo natakpan niya naman yung mga blemishes ko dito pero hindi talaga totally na natakpan. Pero na-even out niya naman yung skin tone ko, yung dark under eye circles. Kailangan pa rin ng concealer. I think yung coverage nito guys is light medium coverage lang. And yung finish niya, it's a soft matte finish. Matte siya pero meron pa rin healthy glow sa skin. So, um, I really love it. Yung blendability niya maganda. So, so far, okay naman siya sa akin. So, I will be taking pictures of me para makita natin yung itsura niya with um, photography and then I will apply the rest of my makeup and I will be back to share with you guys my final thoughts about this foundation. So, my final thoughts about this product, I like it. It's an okay foundation um, for a daily basis. Perfect siya kung student ka or if you are working because it feels comfortable. It wears beautifully. Most especially kung wala ka namang masyadong blemishes or you wanted that natural looking face. Kaya lang yung shade selection nila is not that good. As I said, you have to swatch it para uh, makuha mo or maybe combine two shades. For its price, okay na din siyang foundation. Um, hindi lang nga siya masyadong long-lasting. So, I will recommend this one for an everyday basis. Pero kung mga special locations, I wouldn't recommend this one. And yung masasabi ko lang para sa mga oily skin girls ko dito, nanonood din sa akin channel because probably meron kayong same skin type as I do. Um, blotting galore ang um, magaganap sa inyo girls. Pero, if you wanted like an affordable foundation na very comfortable, very lightweight lang, 
yung parang wala kayong mafe-feel sa inyong skin, definitely uh, buy this one. Pero kung more on oil control side kayo na foundation yun yung hinahanap nyo sa foundation, I don't think that this will be the foundation for you. So, that is it for my thoughts on the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Nakakalok at nagpagbaba ng pangalan niya. But, yeah, I hope that you guys find this video and review helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for you guys to become updated on my new video uploads. And for you guys to become a part of my beloved family. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know that I love you so much. Don't forget what I always say to you guys. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams possible. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!